Good morning, crafting friends. This is Cheryl Ann. Today is Monday, June 4th, and I have a short video for the, this morning um, on what to do if you're traveling but you still want to journal. So I'll be back in a second. So my husband and I are going to take a short trip this month. Um, we're going up to the Eastern Sierra. And, you know, I don't like to go without my travel bag. I do have a bag that I take with me. Sorry, I had to stop. A large truck. I've got my window open. Stopped right in front of our house and it was beeping. I do I do have a travel bag. And this is one I got over um, at Tuesday morning. I think I paid, I don't know, I want to say $5 for it. I actually bought three of them. I've <laughs> given two away. But this is my travel bag. So I always keep a couple envelopes from my specimens. And here's, when we went to Arizona, I took it with me. And these are some, um, it's from that pine tree. It's some seeds. And they're still in here. So that's from two summers ago. I also take a lot, I take a lot of these little plastic sandwich bags. Oh, you might hear the truck. It's the gas company, and I don't know what they're doing, something out in the street. So I always take a bunch of those. Another thing I take, because you know, you, you don't want to be without them, are scissors. And these two pair I found in Arizona in a little, um, it was a quilting shop, and they were, they, were, they were on sale, they were used. So I'm like, oh, I can't pass those up for a dollar. Because you know, I don't want I don't want to take my good ones and lose them. Um, something else that really comes in handy is washi tape. I don't I don't take scotch tape, but I do take my washi tape. Oh, and another thing, just going through my bag, the um, Michaels had these. They're the little tacky glues, and this one is clear. And then this one is um, the regular tacky glue, and these were like. I don't even remember. A dollar each? A dollar each? You might even check um, Dollar Tree. They might have. They might have those. And I also take. Oh my goodness! Let me see my big mess here. Um, I do take some sharpies with me, and I take um, some pens, just in case I want to write something in my my. Oh, of course I take my journal. And then. Um, Oh, something else that I'm going to take with us whenever we go. We haven't decided yet. I found these at Staples, and they're, I think they call them trombone paper clips. They're huge. But I thought, oh my gosh, for keeping pages together, that would be great. And then wherever, <laughs> wherever we go, this is my stash. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Wherever we go, I always get postcards. So I have all these. I'm putting together a Western book. So some of these are going to go in the Western book. That's the four corners. Oh, here comes the trash truck. Oh my goodness, it's Monday morning. So between the trash truck and the gas company, so, you know, these are just some I picked up, and I am going to use these <laughs> in my Western um, journal that I'm making. Um, another thing to pick up while you're out and around on vacation, I always pick up, you know, wherever we go, I always pick up their brochures. I always stop at the ranger stations. You know, some of these have, here's... Mono County, that's Eastern Sierra. They have neat maps. They're full of information. Here's Arizona, nice map. Indian Country map. I, I think I had to pay. No, that's AAA, so I don't think I had to pay for that because we're prime members. Um, I did I did buy this one, Tony Hillerman's Indian Country Mapping Guide because this one you can't find everywhere, and it's just really neat. It's got the map inside and it tells you all about it. Here's Sequoia and Kings Canyon. That's western Sierra. We're going on the eastern side. Idlewild. You get the idea. 
So, yeah, if you're out and around, you know, pick these up because you never know what photographs or maps. Something else that I do, remember, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I do. <laughs> um, you know, I take my camera. Well, I actually have two. Um, I have a Nikon, an old Nikon, which is my backup, and then I take my Canon, but... Like this one, this one was in Arizona. Um, I forget the name of the lake. And we hit it just at the right, there were like three to four minutes and we hit it just right and the cliffs had this golden sheen, you know. The Spaniards were looking for cities of gold and I thought maybe this is what they saw. But it lasted, like I said, three or four minutes and then it was gray again. So I, you know, these I take Oh, I love this one. This is at the Hubble Trading Post there in Arizona next to the Navajo Reservation. My husband took that on. One of the Indian ponies there at Canyon de Chez. So, you know, I I like to... Um, I'll go through the ones we have and I'll enlarge some of them. What I use to do it is the Costco Photo Center because my husband has an inkjet printer and he doesn't really like me to use it. Um, he always told me that Costco, their, their prices are actually lower than what it would cost to print them off on his printer. So you can go online. In fact, I have an order I need to pick up probably this afternoon. Um, you go online and you upload your photos and then they will print them and you can pick them up. So that's something else you can do with your photos. Okay, and so you're going, okay, that's that's wonderful, Cheryl, but what do I do with my photos? Well, like, here's one. You know, I can back it onto um, a manila folder. I can stitch around two sides and make a pocket. Um, I could stitch along two sides in the bottom and make a pocket. And like, So you could fold something in from the top. You know, maybe I just want to glue it on a page, but I think they're, how much are they? I don't know. I think they're like 17 or something cents each. So I really, you know, I, I have a lot of photos from Costco that I like to use. Like here's an example. This is a, a page. This is 11 by 17. It's, it's the big paper. Oh, because I have an oversized journal that I'm making. So if I wanted to Put that in the corner then I could stitch around it and I could have a nice pocket and um, that would look nice so I'm sorry I took so much time here I said it was gonna be short and of course it never is but um, I just wanted to share that with you this morning and give you some ideas you know if you're going on vacation you know get yourself a little bag oh let me show you my journal huh. I laugh because this is my little journal this is the one I take with me, and I've done flip-throughs of her before. She's she's almost a year old, but you can see she's got some pockets here, a couple pockets here, pockets here. See, this is an Arizona highways. There's silver pines. This is why I take my journal with me, because you know. There are, there are going to be plant samples up there that we just don't have here in the desert. <laughs> Here's an example of why I take my journal. Visitors today. This was September 10th, 2017. Four blue jays, three gray squirrels, two chipmunks, two nuthatches, one black capped chickadee, and two red-tailed hawks. So if I didn't have my journal along to write in it, I wouldn't remember that. Here's another beautiful leaf sample. Here's a sample. I didn't do anything with this photo. I just did a, a little tuck, but I I really liked that one. And I wanted to I wanted to put it there in the journal just to kind of remind me. Oh, I found these feathers in the parking lot at the ranger station. I'm like, oh, what a find. So of course I went in my journal. I think I found this at the ranger station too. Always check out the ranger stations because they have maps. I came back with a dozen posters, full color posters 
that I haven't used yet. But they always have lots of information. So remember those big clips I was showing? This is this is why I love them. See, this is where I am in my journal. So that'll be that'll keep the pages open. I am gonna take her with us whenever we go. Um, Cause I love all the pockets and like that. I can glue something on. I can glue something on the back of the map. Like I said, I'm almost done with this. I do expect her to last a full year. I'm trying to be conservative here in my use of her, but I'm gonna take her with us and write down my observations of plants and animals and sky. See this. I wanted to put some little index cards because they're just real easy to take out and add some thoughts. Sky, clouds, weather. I'm sure it's not going to be 111 up there like it is here in the desert. Oh, and then she's she's done, but I have the second one ready to go. So, so I hope that helped you. I hope it gave you some ideas for your travels. This, this, I will take. I will take my little journal and I will take my bag with me. So, you know, don't think you have to leave your journal at home. You can take it with you. Happy traveling and please share. Um, please share your thoughts and your ideas and your experiences. I love comments. So leave a comment below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.